Sheikh Abdul Fatah in Abulele pointed out that a true Muslim who believes in the Holy Quran must shun all vices, including stealing, especially in the house of Allah. He also called on Muslims to always respect the wishes of their brothers and desist from siphoning public funds meant for the development of an area. Abdul Fatai further stressed that anyone who wants God's protection must have the fear of Allah and do good at all times. And they are forgotten that the money they are making is Allah. It's Allah. That is stealing. Allah is a grievous in the side of Allah. If you don't get a punishment here, they'll get a punishment in the year after. Take your money in a cool way. That will not, that will not make others to be comfortable. Some Muslims at the Jumat prayer commented on lessons learned. It, there must be a punishment for those that steal. Because stealing has become so rampant in the world today. Even in the house of God, people come to steal. Imam is warning every Muslim that to deviate from those evil things that they are doing, which is called stealing, which is barbaric and bad to the sight of Allah. As a Muslim, anything we are doing, we should be guided by the fear of Allah. We should do things appropriately. We should not use our position to enrich ourselves. And we should not use our position to create hardship for others. We should do our best, whatever position Allah has put in us. That our leader, they should try as much as possible to be doing good. And they should try as much as possible to be, not to be oppressing. That oppressing is a kind of a stealing, according to the imam. That we should try. Uh, as leader, we, uh, those people in the government, they should try as much as possible to provide the necessary social amenities to help the common uh, people. There were prayers for families, Edo State and the nation. Patience, Osao Giwa reporting.